In this lecture, we're going to go over sharing notebooks. With OneNote, you can share your notebooks with other people, allowing for easy collaboration. You can share the notebook directly, or you can share links to the notebook, and we'll go over both. One thing to keep in mind, in order to share your notebooks, they must be stored in OneDrive. If your notebook is stored locally, it must be moved to OneDrive in order to share it. To share your notebook directly, you must send an invite to the people you want to share it with. And in order to do that, you go to the File tab, because we're going to go to Backstage again. So we'll click File, click Share. Once you click the Share button, it's going to bring up the Share Notebook screen. And from here, it lists the notebook that we had highlighted, our sharing options, and then over to the right is where we tell it what people we want to share the notebook with. So we'll click on the Type of Name field, and this is where you would type in the name or address of the people you want to share it with. If we come over to the right and click the down arrow next to Can Edit, you have two options available to you when you're sharing. You can share it with people who can edit it and with people who can just view the notebook. So you need to determine which you want to do for the people you're sharing it with. Now, if you have some people you want to edit and some people you want to have view rights, you would set up two different invitations, one for those who edit and then another one for those to view. If we come below the names, this is where you would type a message to them explaining what you're doing. To require the invitees to sign in before accessing the document, you need to check the Require User to Sign In Before Accessing Document checkbox. Once you have all your information filled out, that's when you click the Share button. Once you click the Share button, it's going to send the invitation and the sharing information out to the people you invited. If you look at the bottom of the screen here where it says Shared With, it initially just had my name, and now it's going to refresh it and it's going to add the invitees as well. So anytime you want to see who has rights to one of your notebooks, if you highlight the notebook, go to Backstage and come to Share, you'll see that information. It's going to tell you who it's shared with. Now I'm going to log into my email account for Yahoo so you can see what the invitation looks like. Here's what the invitation email looks like. You can see it lists the personal message I put out there and it tells them what notebook they have access to. To access it, they click the View in OneDrive button. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And this is what it looks like when you click on the button to go to OneDrive to view the notebook. I'm going to navigate to the page we started with in OneNote so you can see that it's got the same information. And there we go. Because I gave out edit rights, I could come out and make any changes I wanted to this. Click Edit in Browser. So now it's saving my information back to it. I also have the option to edit within OneNote so I could sign in and edit it from there as well. And you can see from doing it online, you've got the file, the Home tab, your Insert tab, your View, Print, and so forth. So you can make changes just like you would when you were working on it within OneNote. So when you share it with people, they don't have to have OneNote on their system. They can edit it directly from the internet. This gives you a lot more flexibility when you want to share your information with people. You don't have to be concerned about whether they have the program or not. So we're going to go back to OneNote. The other option I want to show you is how to share links. Links are different than actually sharing out the notebook. What you're going to do is you're going to create a link to your notebook so others can view or edit it. But you need to keep in mind that anyone who has a copy of the link can access your notebook. So if I send you a copy of the link and you send it to somebody else, they can also access it. For this example, I'm going to work with my another notebook. Again, we're going to go to the Backstage, so we're going to click on the File tab. We'll click on Sharing again. It's going to go out and check the notebook, just like it did when we did the last one, and it's going to show me if anybody's shared with it. Right now, there is no one. So we're going to go to the Share area, and this time we're going to click Get a Sharing Link. Once you do that, the right column on your screen is going to change to Get a Sharing Link options. There are two options available the View link, and the Edit link. So you need to determine, are you going to give out viewing links or edit links? Or do you have a mixture of people who are going to view and edit? In that case, you could create links to both. For this one, we're going to do a view link. So we're going to click the Create a View link button. 
Once you do that, it's going to create the link for you. And down at the bottom in the Shared With area, it's going to show you sharing links. Anyone with a view link can view it. And so at this point, what you want to do is you want to copy the link and you'll email it to the person you want to share it with. We'll paste the link in and we'll send it off. Here's what the email will look like when you send a link. It's got my message I put on there and a click to the link. So let's go ahead and click on the link. And just like when we shared out the notebook, it's going to take you into the notebook. Got access to all of the pages. But because this one was a view link, I don't have the option to edit. I can read all the pages. I can print them. Clicking the share button will allow me to see who it's shared with, but it doesn't allow me to share it with anyone else. What I can do is I can forward the link to someone if I want somebody else to see it. So remember, that's the difference between sharing a notebook and sharing a link. You have more control over the notebook when you share it out than a link because anybody can forward links on. So let's go ahead and close out of this and go back to our notebook. So now that we've gone over how to share your notebook and share links, let's go ahead and go over how you can remove those shares. There may be times when you just want to share your notebook out to have somebody do a review of it, make some changes to it, and then once you're done, you want to remove their rights to it. Very easy to do that. We'll start with going back to the sharing of the notebook and we'll remove the rights from that first. So let's go back to our notebook. Click File to go to Backstage. Go to Share. We're going to go over to the far right column and down to the bottom where it shows the shared with. It's got the owner and the people that I shared it with. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a right click on the person that we shared it with. If you've got multiple people and you're removing it from just one of the people, just click on their name and do a right click. We have two options available on this one. Remove the user, which removes the sharing from it, or I can change it to view because this person had edit rights. We want to remove this person completely, so we're going to click the remove user. You can see it's updating the permissions and the user is gone. Let's go back to the other one. And this time we're going to remove the link. So again, come to File, go to Share. We'll scroll down so we can see all of the Share With information. And here's where we have the link. Now to remove a link, you're going to do a right click and we're going to disable the link. Now you can see it's only shared with me. So let's go back out to the email and we'll click on the link. You can see it no longer takes me into the OneNote notebook because the link has been disabled. So that's the process for creating links for sharing and for sharing your notebooks directly. Always remember it's done through the Backstage, so you click File and you'll go to Share. Share with people is where you set up the sharing of the notebook itself. Get a sharing link is where you go to create the links to send out to people. Always remember when you're done sharing to either remove the users from the notebook or disable your links.